What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews with me Mquan and I have something brand new on my wrist here. This is the brand new undone Basecamp watch. Now I, I really like this watch and I think it offers a lot a very interesting value propositions that I want to discuss in this video. Now before I get into this, if you're new around here and want to see more video content related to technology, lifestyle, unboxing, reviews and vlogs, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. We are closing in on a hundred thousand subscribers, so I can't thank you enough for that. Right, let's get on with the rest of the video and taking you for a closer look at my brand new watch. So here it is. We're going to start this video off with an on the wrist shot. There it is, the base camp. This is the newest model from the guys at Undone. And I've got this on my own pearl on strap, but I'm going to show you later on in the video what it looks like with the official uh, two straps that you can pick up. You get this Undone uh, box that you get, which has the name of the model. It has the date of purchase, and it also has some of the key specs on the particular watch on the front. Now, before I get into talking about this particular model, I just wanna take a moment and talk to you about this company because some of you may have heard of uh, the company before, particularly here on the channel because I've covered them in the past, but some of you might not have. So Undone are a company that are based out of Hong Kong and they're considered a small startup company, but the actual founder, Michael Young, is well known in the watch community, particularly around vintage watches and Rolex repairs. I think they do a few other brands as well. But the company uh, came up on my radar because um, a couple of years ago I noticed they had a couple of models that you could completely customize. They were automatic watches at a very low price point given you know the customizations that you were getting. Before the base camp, I actually picked up one of these, which is one of the urban ranges. But this shows kind of how the brand can be also playful and experiment as well. Check that out. I mean, this is a collaboration that they did with Peanuts. Now, Basecamp is a very interesting design because currently, if you've been following watches, um, or if you do a bit of research into the hot watches at the moment, they're based around what they consider tool watches. And essentially what tool watches are, are watches that have a particular tool purpose. So think about divers wearing watches for diving purposes, pilots wearing watches for pilot purposes or flying purposes. This uh, base camp actually marries in some of those very, very popular, current po popular ideals of a tool watch and merges them into its own kind of styling and design. So let me talk to you about some of the specs. This is a 40 millimeter in diameter with 15 millimeters of thickness that you can see over there. And then it has a lug to lug of 48 millimeters and then a lug width of 20 millimeters over there. And this shows off so much of, for me, how much Undone has changed as a company. The attention to detail, particularly at this price point, is very, very good. And just take a look at the, the finishing on the lugs over there, that sort of uh, transition from polish to uh, the curvature all the way through to the brushed element over there at the top. You also have a crown that's finished with the U logo that they use for their Undone logo. Go. And then moving it to the front, this is where a lot of those tool watch elements that I was talking about earlier on are going to be uh, visible. So let's just look at the dial. You've got this beautiful dial that has a 12369 and it's kind of a black matte finish. You've got uh, loom essentially on all of the uh, yellow tinted areas that's all loomed. You've got the date window between the four and five position. You've got this red writing that shows off the uh, water re resistance. This is actually 50 meters of water resistance. I would have liked to see this a little more. Not that I'm even going to go lower than 50 meters, but it, I don't know, it would have been nice to see. Uh, you've got the automatic um, uh, statement there. And I like how Undone have pushed their logo down below the six o'clock position. So it doesn't sort of take up too much of the branding on the dial itself. Dial for me is very reminiscent of something that you might find in a Bell & Ross or a, a Panerai, for example. And then you've got a seconds a minute and then check that out that's the bright orange hour hand and that is a nod at something that you might find on the Rolex Explorer which is this this sort of hour hand is used for a GMT uh, marker on uh, a dial they've used that on the hour position which again I think looks really really nice and and add some sort of um, strike through for the dial finally you have the bezel I've heard people referring it to it as an undone bezel 
uh, it is undone. And I think what undone have done here is given you uh, a bezel that kind of plays with the idea of what you can get with a bezel. Typically bezels are, have some numerals depending on if they're a diver's watch or a GMT so you can move that in particular ways. Usually diver's watches will have bezels that are only unidirectional, they'll only go one way. GMTs will go bidirectional. But this is really cool because this can be used as, you know, whatever essentially and you can use that to kind of give you some guide uh, with where the position of the uh, hour and minute uh, markers are. If I turn it around you're going to see an open case back. That open case back houses the Seiko NH35A automatic movement. It has about 42 hours of uh, reserve uh, power. It's not finished off to any standard and that's because really the movement is a workhorse in itself. But I think Undone have left that open because again, the, the kind of person that this is going to be aiming to is going to be either a watch kind of saw or somebody that's getting into watches um, and is interested by the whole concept of a tool watch. So this might be a, a beginning step before they move on to something else. And I think for that reason, Undone have kind of kept it open. And I want to show you what it looks like on the straps themselves. So this is what the strap, the green khaki NATO strap looks like on the Undone watch. It's very, very tool look looking now. Um, I like the strap and you can see that the strap material is actually of a very good quality and then the buckles here as well have this kind of a brushed grayish effect. So this is what the orange strap looks like. Now I think on camera this is going to look a little less muted. Uh, in the flesh this really does stand out. Very very striking about this and I think obviously that strap matches the hour hand incredibly incredibly well. But let me know in the comment section which one of the two do you like or in fact let's include the third one which is you know going with something a little less um, NATO-ish which is a pearl on strap. This is going to set you back 295 US dollars and a link to where you can purchase that will be in the description bar below. When you do make that purchase you'll get one of these NATO straps either this the green or the orange and if you want to pay extra you will be able to buy the other one as well so that you have two. I, you know in summary I think this is a good watch. I, I like the fact that it, it does something different with a very current and popular genre of watches which is tool watches and I think it offers that at a great price but I'd love to know what you guys think so do leave your comments and let me know what you think of the watch and your thoughts on it. That's it from me for now. Again, if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit like if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm Mkwan with my brand new base cap from Undone. Peace and blessings.